Hi, and welcome to uh, Road Sign Management, Manage Assets and Activities with WebGIS. My name is uh, Alex Lang. I'm a Solutions Engineer at ProWest and Associates. Um, sorry, I couldn't be there in person to give this webinar live. Uh, that's uh, what I would have preferred to do, but with uh, scheduling changes, uh, we had to resort to this. But uh, Jen is going to be on hand to answer any of your questions. Uh, if she can't answer them, she is going to relay those to me and we'll get you those uh, uh, answers back at a later date. But what we're going to be going over here today is road sign management assets within the ArcGIS online system and specifically how Big Stone County has made the has made the jump from uh, several different iterations of their system to what they've currently deployed today, which is a, a really great uh, way of managing your assets within the ArcGIS uh, system. So without any further ado, uh, let's hop in. So Big Stone County, Minnesota has been using ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise to manage their road sign data for a while. Uh, so Big Stone County is a rural county in Minnesota and they have a lot of signs to deal with and they have limited staff to be able to do those. So being able to utilize an efficient method for editing and tracking not only the asset data, but maintenance and inspection records for them as well uh, is really key to their operations. So we're going to take a look at the different generations that they uh, from what they have to what they had back uh, back a few years ago, and then we'll move into uh, some field operations uh, information and follow that up with a demo of the actual solutions that uh, Big Stone County has uh, deployed. So the first generation of this road sign management system was uh, ArcGIS Online. So the county only had ArcGIS Online at the time. So all of its licensing and solutions were running on uh, the cloud-based uh, Esri system. So being able to actually bring in that road sign data, uh, have those user accounts set up for the field workers uh, to be able to take a look. We had it set up where the uh, feature class was for the asset itself, the actual sign, and then a table was set up with a relationship on that asset for maintenance and inspections. Uh, a web map was made for uh, access via collector, and we, there was a web app builder manager solution to manage all of that data on the on a desktop or in the office uh, after the field users were done uh, collecting data in the field. A very simple deployment of utilizing or using asset management within ArcGIS Online, but it worked very well. The second generation of this was when we took everything that was part or when Big Stone County took everything that was a part of that system and moved that over into ArcGIS Enterprise. So here we now have taken all of that data that we had in ArcGIS Online and moved that over into Enterprise. So that puts it behind a secure firewall. It allows users to now log into the portal for ArcGIS rather than ArcGIS Online, but we still have the same deployment of collector and the manager solution uh, that there was in ArcGIS Online. And then that comes to the third generation, what we're going to be talking about most today, which is a similar deployment, but with a few key differences. One of those differences, instead of a table to manage maintenance and inspection records, we now have one new feature class where that tabular data has been brought and attached to an actual location. And that location being stacked on top of the actual road sign asset data. So you can think of that classic example of GIS layers stacking on top of each other. And in this case, we're dealing with road signs where we have a point, a road sign, and then multiple inspection or maintenance uh, inspection records stacked on top of it. And we'll take a look at that more in depth when we actually get to the demo today. But with this new feature class, they were also able to deploy a version of Survey123 or ArcGIS Survey123 uh, for field and web application editing. And we'll take a look at uh, that system here in just a second. But just to note that that Survey123 is being deployed through ArcGIS field maps. 
We still have that web app builder manager solution that we uh, had in prior uh, generations. And then there have been two new uh, additions that Big Stone County has added into their management system. So the first is an enterprise site or a uh, internal hub site, if you will, for road sign uh, maintenance. Essentially, we're taking all of the applications and data that are being utilized for this process and bringing it all together into one centralized location. The other solution is a dashboard and the dashboard is really important because it's not only taking a look at the current uh, most current access access or activity data that's being done on given road sign assets, but it's used utilizing the other feature class that's been developed for this system called most recent activity, which is where we're taking those maintenance and inspection records and really focusing on the most recent one for all the given road signs across the county. So it all starts in the field. Again, I wish uh, I wish we were able to do this in person, not even uh, just live webinar, but actually in person in St. Cloud. Uh, and I'd be able to pull out uh, pull out my phone for you guys and be able to uh, show you all the different uh, field uh, solutions that they have. But uh, alas, I am not able to do that. So we are going to be relegated to uh, PowerPoint slides, but uh, we'll get through these as best we can. Uh, so. Uh, like we said prior, they had access to the uh, to their data in the field via ArcGIS Collector using utilizing a table for maintenance and inspection records. Now we've upgraded that to now utilizing ArcGIS field maps. Uh, Big Stone County was one of the early adopters of ArcGIS field maps, and they've uh, had a very seamless transition from Collector to the new mobile application for uh, data collection. Uh, very, very much uh, enjoying that uh, that new deployment. Uh, the other piece of this was adding ArcGIS Survey 123 as the second mobile app that they're going to be utilizing in the field. Uh, we can take we can see that that little screenshot we have uh, on the little uh, hand on the slide is actually a view of ArcGIS field maps with Big Stone County's road sign data. We can see that there is a sign selected. There is a pop up viewable where we can see a new inspection record can be collected by selecting that button. That button will then deploy ArcGIS Survey 123 to create a new maintenance and inspection record. And uh, before I get too far into that, we just note that we are still utilizing um, field maps for collecting new road sign assets as well as editing asset data on existing road sign locations. All that can still be done within the uh, field maps uh, mobile application. Uh, the I would say that they're most utilizing the maintenance and inspection records uh, to this point. Uh, we can see we'll see how they are able to better manage their asset data via the manager solution uh, later on in today's demo. So going into that maintenance and inspection record. So when we deploy survey one, two, three, a couple of things are happening. So utilizing uh, survey one, two, three's URL parameters, we're able to do uh, do a couple of things to better manage maintenance and inspection records. The first is we're actually able to copy the road sign asset data and move that over into each maintenance and inspection record. So this is uh, really, really handy for the for folks that want the for the folks that want to be able to take a look at not only the inspection itself, what actually happened during the inspection, but what sign are we actually dealing with uh, to this point, they'll be able to see the location on the map, but not only uh, but not only that, but take a look at the actual attribute information for that road sign. And a couple uh, a note here on at least the uh, Big Stone County operations. Uh, we have a couple of definitions I think would be good to go into uh, briefly. One is an activity, meaning when we go to a sign location, we're going to perform an activity on that sign location and that can be of two different types an inspection we're just doing a visual look and see what what is going on with that sign or maintenance we know there's something going on and we need to do something um, and we're going to collect a record to showcase that we actually did something rather than just look and inspect it 
So that's how Big Stone County is doing it. Um, and and uh, obviously, Survey123 allows them to configure those options uh, however they uh, so choose. Without any further ado, uh, we're going to jump into the demo where we're going to take a look at that road sign management center. We're going to take a look at that road sign manager, and we're going to take a look at that dashboard as well, uh, just to give you a, a, a view of how Big Stone County is able to manage this uh, information. All right, so this is the road sign management center for Big Stone road sign asset data collection. So we can see right away that this uh, site looks similar to many of the hub sites that I'm sure you're now very familiar with. Uh, we're able to take a look and see that we're actually looking at the data right away off the bat without any without any need for any other solution. We're able to look at the number of road signs, the number of activities, um, inspection and maintenance information, as well as replacements and repair information, all right from the hub site. No need to look at anything else. Uh, they're able to pull those key indicators that they want to be able to see right on their enterprise site um, in utilizing portal for ArcGIS Enterprise. Scrolling down, we can see a couple other things. We're, show, we're showing the actual workflow for uh, conducting a roadside inventory, inspections, reviewing the imports, and uh, for planning. That can be useful, very, uh, very useful for new employees or employees that are training in on the system. And we're also have an embedded web view of the actual road sign data. So if somebody has a sign in mind or they know a location, they just want to quick go look at that asset data. They can do that via this uh, via this little embedded map. They're able to go ahead and click on a road sign at pop up information will appear so they can take a look at that sign itself and look when it was last edited or uh, in any information that they would like to see on that given sign. A little note on the symbols uh, for road signs. Obviously, there are a lot of different signs out there. So the uh, Big Stone County has actually created generic symbols for categories of road signs. So they are able to tell just from a quick glance what is a route marker, what is a regulatory sign, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, that has uh, made uh, road sign maintenance uh, very easy for them going forward. Uh, they're able to categorize those signs rather than having individual symbols for each different type of of road sign, which could get a little cumbersome and uh, not that pleasing to the eye as they as they can see that on those web maps. Scrolling down the uh, section is for applications. We'll get that to that in just a second. I'm going to scroll past that. Uh, just to show that we can also place some open data on here. So maybe there's a reason that they need to download uh, their road signs, download their inspections, um, and, ro and, and actually Big Stone County has a couple of subsets that they wanted to be able to download uh, at any given time. So there's a couple of other layers that they've uh, added to this open data section. So we actually have, are able to download data from these enterprise sites as well. Uh, very helpful for Big Stone County operations. And then a little bit of uh, contact information uh, for anybody uh, in the organization that is that is new and wants to ask questions about this given uh, hub site. So by clicking on the manage data button, we're able to deploy uh, the first of the two solutions, the two other solutions we're going to look at today. Uh, the first is the Big Stone County uh, uh, road sign manager. So here's uh, real, real meat and potatoes of what we're able to do with the actual road sign data. Right away, we can see we've deployed the smart editor widget so that we can add or edit signs within this actual road sign manager. If I zoom in here and click on a given sign, we can see that information comes up in the smart editor as editable. We can change all that data or update data that needs updating. We can actually also look at that data in a tabular view as well. Uh, we have configured there are the attribute table with widget has been configured so that we can take a look at all that tabular data for road sign, road signs inspection, and most recent activity layer. Uh, and that is very helpful for those that still like to take a look at that Excel spreadsheet type view. Um, and it 
interacts with the map in a very helpful way. So once we have a sign that we're taking a look at, if we would like to actually see that sign and where it is on the county, we can hit that zoom to button and we take a look at actually where that sign sign is actually located. Uh, very, very handy tool for uh, Big Stone County operations. Moving to the layer list, if we toggle off the road signs, we can toggle on the road sign inspections. Uh, these orange indicators are just indicating where those inspections are on, right on top of those road signs. And by clicking on one of them, we can see that there can be multiple road sign inspections that are on top of the actual road signs. And we can show two things within these pop ups. One, we're actually showing the actual inspection information, and then we're showing the sign details. But we're also giving access to actually edit that given inspection. So just by clicking on that edit inspection button, we're deploying the survey one, two, three that we saw earlier that we that's available for the mobile devices devices. It's it's now available within the web tool to be able to see all that data and edit it if need be. And then by turning off the road sign inspections, I can turn on most recent activity. So this is again that list of inspections. We're going to take the most recent one, place that into a different layer for filtering or for monitoring the data. And here we can then click on those, take a look and see what actually happened during that inspection or maintenance activity. The last thing I'll point out within this uh, road sign manager is that we're able to take advantage of the filtering capabilities within ArcGIS Web App Builder. So we have road signs, road sign inspections, most recent activity layer. All of the attribute data that's inside those layers can be filtered and uh, uh, and filter the map to be able to see where we may be lacking in certain uh, types of uh, assets. When was the last time all this data was uh, looked at? What type of sign is looking at what type of condition? All this different at attribute information can be filtered and looked gone through by uh, supervisors or uh, or directors on the road sign management to take a look at all of that, that really nice data that we're taking all this time to manage via mobile and desktop solutions. Um, really good really good tool uh, for for road signs in general. The last solution I'm going to deploy here today is the road sign dashboard. So here's where we're taking that most recent activity layer. So the last inspection that was done on every single road sign location. We're going to pull all that data into one dashboard for better viewing of how our operations are currently being handled. We can see what when was the uh, where was the last uh, inspection done? Where was the last maintenance activity conducted? Uh, when was signs replaced or repaired? Uh, there, uh, Big Stone is also tracking post information about when they've swapped out posts for signs. So all that can be brought into this overview dashboard as well. But the real magic happens on the second tab where we're taking a look at the most recent activities and taking a really in-depth look using ArcGIS dashboard charts. We can see that we're mostly uh, conducting inspections or replacing given signs via this chart. We can see that uh, for the most part, upper and lower posts are being replaced rather than repaired. We see that we're conducting a lot of inspections versus maintenance, which is what we'd like to see. Um, we'd like to see that these are in good condition rather than um, rather than having to maintain them or swap them out. But the activity by month chart is actually one of my favorites because it not only shows uh, when was the last inspection done, but by clicking on uh, by clicking on these, we can actually filter out the map and show which of these signs were done at that given time period. So we can see we have lots of inspections that have happened prior to 2021. So those are going to be key going forward to inspect those signs versus maybe other signs down the road. Now we can see that we're actually labeling or uh, symbolizing all of these road signs a different way this time. We're actually doing this based off of that actual type, whether or not it's been inspected, replaced, install, installed or repaired. But if you were also tracking condition, 
of a sign. So whether it was in good, fair or poor condition, you could also utilize these type of symbols to show that data, which can be very helpful um, and have a chart for that as well. And then we have a listing of all the most recent uh, sign maintenance or inspections that have been happening and we can then click on those records and zoom to those locations on the map to take a look at those actual records. Um, one at a time we can go ahead and click on that data take a look at that inspection information and again this whole dashboard is being powered by that most recent activity layer uh, which is uh, very key to their operations and newly added into this new iteration of uh, big stone county roadside maintenance so uh, that is what i'd like to show today i know that was a very quick view of things but uh, uh, it's really, really fun to be able to see how Big Stone County has gone from ArcGIS Online to Enterprise and now this full deployment of ArcGIS Enterprise utilizing dashboards and Survey123, uh, really, really great asset management system. And we're just going to do a quick recap here. So we looked at the Road Sign Maintenance Center. We looked at uh, where we have a centralized uh, place for road sign data maintenance. We have our road sign manager where we edit asset and utilize the smart editor to edit our data in the field uh, from the field in the in the office. Take a look at that most recent activity layer and then we get to take a look at the key performance indicators of that most recent activity layer via that road sign dashboard and really get a, a hard look at how inspections or maintenance activities has been done at Big Stone County uh, for the most recent visits for road sign assets. So the takeaways, uh, let's just, uh, you know, let's just say this is a great asset management system that uh, Big Stone County has, has put together. Uh, it's utilizing all out of the box solutions. So it's a very uh, real and uh, goal to attain to to have uh, Big Stone County be your your kind of mentor on this. Uh, Science is essentially a placeholder in this. So if you have other data that you wish to manage, uh, just like Big Stone is managing these signs, uh, all of this can be done exactly the same way with whatever asset you, you choose to be tracking uh, for your organization. Um, and as we saw, having enterprise is not a requirement. ArcGIS Online can replicate these processes and this entire deployment could be done in ArcGIS Online if you did not have uh, ArcGIS Enterprise. Uh, 